Okay, in today's tutorial, I will show you guys how to load your watch logs to save data. And this will only work if you've backed up or saved your sync data. So for those of you that have done both, both methods will work. It doesn't matter which one. But personally, I would prefer cloud synchronization because it's much faster and easier. And then for those of you that did not back it up or did not sync at all, I'm sorry, but your safe data is pretty much corrupted. Or it's not corrupted, sorry. Your safe data is pretty much uh, gone forever. So uh, best of luck. So without further ado, let's get right into it here with the first method. And this method will involve um, a lot of manual clicking and, and dragging on this shit. So first off, I want you guys to go to this PC or your computer directory, operating system, programs, files, x86, x86, sorry. Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, save games, and it's going to tell us something here, which is expected because it's a fresh game and therefore all the saves are corrupted. Now, however, I'm sorry, our, our, all the saves are gone. Now, however, if you have the saves backed up, which I have backed up right now, as you can tell, saves are down here. So here are my two saves. And it doesn't matter if you have one or two, um, it's just as long as you have them keep, um, just as long as you have them, uh, you know, kept secure, it should be fine. So anyways, for this step, you would want to go to Uplay, go to the three tiles, setting, and make sure you uncheck enable cloud safe synchronization for supported games. And basically all you would do is you would launch Watch Dogs 2. Okay, so as yet as you guys can tell, that method did not work well because the game recognizes uh, everything is new and fresh. So here's the funny thing. If you go to save games, you'll see a bunch of numbers here, not relevant. If you go to here, again, not relevant, and they're all different codes and numbers by the way. What you'll see is you'll ultimately come up with two save files. And these files are sort of the new files. So like, let's say if you start a new game, you save again, these will, you know, increase in gigabytes and all this stuff. So these are pretty much like templates for the for a upcoming and new save, or it could actually be used to um, replace a previous save. So for instance, in this case, you can easily do that because it's just copy and paste. So what you would do is you go to your backup file folder, open it, copy and paste your, your um, previous saves, and then paste it here. And what it should do is that it should say something like, oh, do you want to replace a save one with, um, you want to replace this one with this one, and you hit yes, and you should be good to go. So now when the game loads, it'll still load this, but it'll have more gigabytes. Essentially, it'll have all the progress from your previous save in. And that's how you do the first method is you just copy and paste your files, drag and drop, and replace it into a new one. Now, for those of you that want to do cloud sync, this is much easier. So it's pretty simple, actually. So all you do is you essentially go to Uplay Launcher, click on the three tiles, go to setting, and check enable cloud save synchronization. So instead of unchecking it like you would do for the first one, the backup or the manual save, uh, the second method requires you to just hit check and launch the game. Okay, so when I was launching the game using the cloud save, like I said previously, this message showed up. If you want, you can try again. And if it doesn't work, you, because it usually doesn't work, you just hit, you just hit continue and uh, the game should load normally. But that's Okay, so now if you go to the main menu, you will see that the load game feature is in white, meaning there is a valid save game data. And if you click on that, it will load the game and everything should be good to go. Okay, and if you were able to exit the game, and actually go back to the save game directory, there will be something interesting I want to show you guys. Uh, FYI, you can actually delete these two. If you if you watch um, the full video, um, I got up to, to this step for the first uh, method. But if you ever doing the same thing, what I would do is I would just delete these because you're going to get the files back anyway. So just delete these files. That way it looks much cleaner, but you don't have to. You can kind of keep that um, file that I just deleted. It's up to you personally. Once you cancel that and once everything, you know, works perfectly, you can double check to see games again. It'll still show a different number this time instead of the first one. The number is still the same for this part for whatever reason. Like I said, I think it's because it's unique to every person. And what you'll notice now is that these two saves are here. So basically the, what the cloud sync did was essentially got your backup files from the cloud and copy and paste it into here. And that way um, you're able to keep your data and all that. And honestly, like I said, 
um, or honestly, I prefer the sync because the sync is much quicker. So next time, uh, I recommend you guys sync all your games so that way you can just hit one check mark and everything can be good to go as opposed to sort of like dragging and dropping. I know that's a bit tedious, but you know that's the price. That's the price you pay if you don't you know trust in these sort of uh, cloud syncing stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys out and. Yeah, you know, um, always be sure to sync just in case and always be sure to back up because you never know when you can lose your most valuable save data and all that.